Hi, I'm Brew Richard, and this is our show, Deja Brew. How it goes is we'll bring out two contestants and have them guess which beer they are drinking. Whoever has the most points after our final round will win a lifetime supply of their own favorite beer. Let's meet our contestants. <laughs> How's it going, guys? Good, how are you? Welcome to the show. Our first guest today is a famous beer connoisseur. He taste tests all around the world. Let's meet Ian. Nice to meet you. No, Ian, when was your first drink? Well, you know, Brew, uh, being as famous as I am and well known for uh, my just great taste in beer, it might surprise you, but actually when I was 22, I had my first beer in Germany, so. That is really interesting, very compelling. Anyways, Matt, when was your first drink? I was uh, sober for 10 years, then I turned 11, Blue. It's, it's Brew. Nice to meet you. All right. Anyways, today we have three rounds. And out of these three rounds, we'll be having, you know, these blindfolds will be put on them. And they will have to guess which type of selection of beer they are tasting. They are, will be trying to drink for their pursuit of hoppiness. All right, man. Are you ready? I'm ready. All right. Blindfolds on, please. Have your cups ready for you when you're. Made it too tight. <laughs> Fun fact, the world's longest hangover lasted over four weeks after a Scotsman drank 60 pints of beer. Surprised it wasn't that guy. Yeah, it could very well be that guy. <laughs> you figure it out there, bud? <laughs> All right. Perfect. Put your hand out, please, both of you. I'll put this in your hand. Please hold it still, as I will be pouring the first round. All right. Ian, start us with the drinking, and then Matt will follow shortly after. All right, Matt. Begin your first round. All right, Ian. What do you think? American. Uh, American. Bud Light. I'm going to go with Bud Light. All right, Matt. What do you have? Uh, it was kind of stale. All right. Uh, Maybe warm. Yeah, we warm. Uh, I think it was uh, a Keystone Light. All right, I'm sorry to inform you that both of you were incorrect, as this was Bush Light. All right, we will begin round two. All right, but we'll, first we'll say a tweet in we got from Phil from Oregon. How does Moses make beer? How does he do it, bro? He brews it. Mm. Hold Hilarious. Your hand, please. Shaken. All right, we will start this round with Matt drinking first. Ian, you can go. Matt, what do you have? Um, it's definitely a good beer. Um, I would have to guess it's Modelo. Okay. Ian, what do you have? You know. I'm going to have to agree with that guy over there, Modelo, it's a Mexican beer. Well, congratulations to both of you. Both were correct, which means that the score after the second round is tied 1-1 one one going into our final round. All right, man. All right, one more joke. What is a good, balanced diet? A beer in each hand. <laughs> That's the truth there, Blue. It's a, it's a brew. All right, someone throw it. All right, Ian, we will start it with you on this one. Matt, you can drink. Ian, what do you have? Bush Light. All right, Matt. Bud Light. I'm sorry, but both of you are incorrect mm. there, which means we'll have to go into sudden death here. Whoever guesses it first will win. Can I ask what the drink was? It was Keystone Light. Last round here, boys. Sudden death. Whoever guesses it first will be our winner. Can I drink right away? Yes, you may. You guys both can drink. Here 
Answer freely. Bush Light. Bush. Incorrect. Bud Light. Correct. Ooh. Which means after our third and final round, our winner today is Ian Joachini. Yep, you bet. You can take a blindfold off, buddy. Can you see all right? Good game. Congratulations to yep. both of you. Good job. Any final words from Ian? Um, I knew I was going to win the whole time. You know, had to give the guy a fighting chance. He's obviously hammered a little bit right now, yeah, but... Not very fair. Yeah, uh, thanks for playing, bud. Maybe next time. Any final words from you, Matt? Do I get at least uh, keep this beer? I guess, I guess you can. You can, you can keep, keep your beer. All right. All right. What will you do with your lifetime supply of beer? Well, you know, I was thinking I could probably donate it to some sort of charity, or I don't know if charities accept beer, but... <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I'm sure he would take that charity There very you go. Kindly. I could give some to that guy. I'm sure he can't afford <laughs> much. <laughs> there's, very, there's very needy children around the world in need of a very good cold beer. Right Agreed. Now. All right, I think that'd be all for us tonight, folks. Thank you for watching.